Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you another way to automate the process of hunting cross-site scripting for bug bounties as well as cybersecurity. So let's get started. Before that, if you haven't checked out our website in which you can learn web development as well as cybersecurity practically by labs, as you can see we have this lab section of both web development and cybersecurity. So if you want to learn account takeovers like how hackers can hack accounts of anyone by the misconfiguration of the web application then you can check out our labs which is based on real world scenario and it will definitely help you to increase your bug bounty skills as well as your cyber security skills and if you are a web development beginner then you check out our challenges like front end challenge where you can learn to create different designs and different uh, html code all for free so coming back to the video now in this video i have created a particular script that will help us to automate the process of xss so if you haven't checked out my previous video in which i have shown you some of the ways through which we can automate the process of bug bounties then i recommend you to please do check that out and now let's get back to this video so the first thing that we need to understand is that how this script is working so basically this script is using three tools the first tool is gau get all url the second tool is KXSS and the third tool is Dalfox. So suppose you have provided an, a domain name as an input, right? So what will happen is that it is going to, the tool is going to extract all the URLs linked to with that particular domain using the tool GAU. After that, it is going to pass that particular output in KXSS that will test for dangerous characters. And after that, it will filter those links which are allowing dangerous characters and it will send that link to dalfox and then dalfox will use that link to inject the javascript code and if the javascript code successfully injected on that particular parameter then it is going to send the output back to us so i hope you have understood the algorithm of this particular script now let us try to understand that how we can use this script into our bug bounty automation so First of all, you have to head over to the link which is given in the description and you will see something like this. So this is the tool here as you can see. Now what you need to do is you need to just download this file and you have to insert this file into your Kali Linux machine. So in my case, I have already downloaded this file. Let me show you how you can download it. This is very simple. You have to just click on this download button. It is going to take some time depending on your internet speed obviously. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now perfect, as you can see this is a tool and to download this you just need to head over to this download icon over here and let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see the file is downloaded and now you have to import this file into your Kali Linux machine. So by the way if you don't know how to uh, install Kali Linux on Windows 10 then I recommend you to check out my video in which I have shown you some of the ways through which you can install Kali Linux in Windows 10. So let me open my Kali Linux machine. So I'm just going to type CMD and now I'm going to type Kali. After that, let me copy this file. I can just cut it to somewhere safe. So for example, I can just paste it over here. Okay, click on continue. Perfect. Now, as you can see, the Kali Linux is loaded and I'm going to maximize it. And I'm just going to zoom out. Okay. Now, what I need to do is I need to copy that file. So for that, I can just do this command. First of all, let us create a directory. mkdir um, automation. And let's move to that particular directory. Now, let's copy that file. So I'm just going to type, instead of copying, I'm just going to move that file. So I'm just going to type mntc and the xss automation.rar. That's it. And here I'm just going to type xss.rar. Now, as you can see, the file is moved successfully. Now we need to unrar this file. For that, we have to install a file, uh, install a tool that is known as unrar. So we can install it by just typing sudo apt install unrar and minus y. So in my case, I have already installed this particular software. So in your case, it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection speed. So as you can see, it is showing that unrar is already installed. So I'm just going to clear this now. To use unrar, we can just type unrar, unrar, sorry, e xss.rar. Hit enter, and as you can see, these are the three files that are archived in this particular rar file. So, as you can see, these are the files 
install.ssh requirements.txt xss.py now the first file that we need to run is the install.sh file so to ins install this file you just need to type sudo bash install.sh and you have to hit enter in my case i have already installed all the dependencies so i don't need to do anything but in your case you have to make sure that you run this file in order to avoid any error in the future and after that you just have to you just, you just need to hit enter and after the setup completes now you are ready to run the xss.py file so let me show you how we can run this file for example let's say i want to find vulnerabilities on testphp.vulnerweb.com so what can i do is i can just type this command python3 xss.py now minus t and we have to specify the domain testphp.vulnerweb.com and hit enter and let's see what happens so as you can see the first thing it is doing is extracting all the possible urls from that particular domain right so it is going to take some time let's wait perfect as you can see it has found 20 urls right and now it has tested for dangerous characters like it has tested for some characters you can say like uh, less than greater than single quotes double quotes by using the tool which is known as dalfox or uh, sorry kxss right so let's see how much time it will take so right now i am facing some internet issues and because of that there is some issues in this particular tool so let me fix my internet and we'll come back to this later So now as you can see this time it works perfect right so now as you can see we have some reflected payloads over here as you can see triggered xss payload now let's try to copy one of these and let's see what happens so i'm just going to stop it over here now let's try to copy one of this link for example let's copy this and let's see what happens Now let's try to paste this and let's see what happens. Perfect. As you can see, we have successfully injected the payload, which means that XSS has triggered successfully. So I hope you have understood that how we can execute or automate the process of cross-site scripting. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues while installing this tool or anything that you are finding an issue, then please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.